And she was like, okay, why wouldn't I want you? And he was like, well, for two reasons. He said, number one, you got a bunch of food. She literally has like a uh, a little miniature house in right, the right. back stored with supplies and food and whatnot. Right. And he was like, number one for that. Number two, because you're older, I don't want nobody thinking that they can, you know, just bum rush you or what have you. And he was like, I'm going to bring my guns. And the mom was like, oh, no, don't bring your guns. He was like, ma, you going to want me to have the guns. And I turned to her and I said, yeah. I said, plus, if people know you have that shed in the back, yeah. they're going to go after that. They might not try to get into your home if they know that's back there, but they're going to go after that. You know, the fucked up thing is they probably only want it just to sell it, not even to like use to it. Use like it that, right. That's what the messed up part about the world well, is. That, that's, People want it just to sell it. Everything is a profit. I don't care. You, oh, speaking of that, you heard about Jim Baker, the uh, former evangelist, televangelist, no. whatever? But he's been doing stuff. I, nothing you're going to say is going to surprise me. I got you. And, and yes, this has been going on with different religious figures, especially on TV. I don't know why it seems like Televangelist. It's, yeah. Um, Jim Baker was selling pieces of silver or some kind of you know, gold silver or something said that it cures the coronavirus and he was selling it to who mostly old people and they were eating it up mostly old religious people who were eating it up listen we don't typically talk politics or religion on here and I'm not really going to talk religion but I will say this if you are part of a religion that falls a person more so than the uh, I guess, figure, if you will, or God or what have you, or whatever, you know, Buddha, whoever it is, you probably don't want to be involved in that religion. When it's about a person, usually it's about power and it becomes corrupt. And that's all I'm going to say. That is the end of any religious talk that we'll ever have on the show. Well, I'll, I'll go one step further. Yeah. It, if you have to pay to be religious, you probably shouldn't be in in that. Like, that. that that's with Absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Um, I don't like... I'm obviously not religious, but I would be pretty skeptical if somebody tried to convince me the Lord would only help me if I give money. I'm skeptical of, uh, and I learned this, if you have a job that tells you you can make all this money, you just have to pay this amount of money. <laughs> like, no, I'm not paying money to make money. money like, no, right. I, I would invest. Like, for example, this podcast, I would invest in stuff to to make this podcast better. Microphones, headphones, a, a new camera. That's investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's, that's watching this and says, oh, you do have to spend money to make money. No. When somebody, what I'm, I'm talking about in, Investing in yourself versus somebody telling you, hey, you give me X amount of dollars and you get it's like those scammers on Instagram. I'll flip your fifty dollars into five thousand. Well, I, I had a person call me an uh, Indian. Lady no, they won't. From from India, not Indian as in Native American called and said, I've been approved for a loan. I didn't apply for. It. But see, I humor these people. I think it's hilarious. Mm. All you have to do is send two hundred dollars and we'll give you a loan and for twenty thousand dollars. I said to the lady, I said, has this worked on anybody? She hung up on me instantly. <laughs> you know? I've done that. Yeah. So. I've done that to people that were like, oh, all you got to do is this. I'm like, okay. Mm. Hold on. I'm going to the store right now. Mm. You have to get a, a Google Play card. Okay. I'm going to get a Google Play card. Mm. I just need the code. Okay. I'm going to give you the code. Mm. And I just give some random. It, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know what to tell you. You know, my buddy, the same one I was talking about with his mother, he, um, Notoriously no, I don't gamble. Together. I went to Vegas and spent a nickel gambling. Somebody's calling me. I'm I would ever gamble when I played basketball. I would I would bet people. I bet you I, I can beat you in one on one. Yeah. And a lot of times I would do shit like uh, I lost twenty five dollars. I played this dude down at Duke University, one of the assistant soccer coaches. He was like six five, mm. soccer coach, not basketball. Right. But he was 6'5", and I said, look, I'm going to give you 30 points, and we're going to play the 32. So all you got to do is make one basket. Man, I made it all the way up to 28, and this motherfucker scored. Yeah, was I was so game. mad. No, I, that was my favorite thing to do. Look, you get 30 points. Hey, nothing make you work hard like trying to make up a 30-point deficit real quick. Yeah, I hear you on that. So... Yeah, I used to. Love, I always always bet people that. Now it's dependent on <laughs> what level, but that's yeah. a general. Oh, I used to kill people in my neighborhood with that. Yeah. You get thirty, 
in the ball here. <laughs> yeah, and they said uh, on the news there's a lot of coronavirus scams. And I, I didn't really hear what they are, what they might be trying <laughs> to pull. But, you know, once again, when you're in a time of tragedy or distress or whatever, people try to take advantage of that or profit off of it or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, just I mean, Kobe's only- death, they did that. Yeah. Like, come on, man, you got somebody dying and all of a sudden people are, are bootleg making Mamba shirts or Mamba Sita shirts just to make, like, come on, man. Mamba Sita. That's a little wow. bit too much. Yeah. So just be on the lookout for all of those scams. Um, I just want to make an announcement real quick. My beautiful wife is on live watching us. Love you. Glad you're watching. Um, yeah, man, but it, it's just some of this is unnecessary panic. Um, like I said, the caution, majority of it is. Yeah, the majority. Caution is, you know, great to have. You always want to be cautious about anything. But you should be cautious about germs All every time. fucking day. Yeah. Any day. Like, I have never not wiped the cart down when I went into ShopRite. When you go into ShopRite, there's two two things for wipes, and then there's a hand sanitizer right after it. And what I see, which is funny, is people wipe the cart down and then don't sanitize their hands. So you just put, like... Let me, let me tell you something. My wife is the greatest at avoiding germs. She will wipe the cart. My wife does... Listen, if something happens with me... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, she's not going to touch my hands. She's going to wait for me to wash my hands. You know, she's she's always been way more cautious than I am. You know right. what I mean? And, uh, but this is common sense cautious. Washing yeah. your hands. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. wash your hands. I don't... I, I'm Use confused. antibacterial soap. I'm confused why it's so mind-blowing that you should wash your hands now. You should... Like, Lori Dawson, what's going on? They teach you that in, like, somebody parents, else on here. I can't see your picture. Should teach you know that you are. way, but whatever. I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, I know it's easy nowadays to say, oh, I've always done that. But, mm. I mean, I just always have. But, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I told him earlier, I was like, people buying all this antibacterial stuff, but then locking themselves away in their house. Mm. Why do you need all that if you're locked away in your house? Right. Clean your house once, call it a day. If you ain't going anywhere, you ain't got to worry about coronavirus. If you do, take a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. Buy ammo. Get rid of it right away. But, yeah, uh, I, I don't get it. I, I oh, feel, Justin, what's going on, brother? That's you. Okay. I do feel bad for a lot of these high school athletes and college athletes that, you know. Uh, Making a name for themselves. I'm a little upset. The NCAA wrestling tournament got canceled. So, in the good respects, that just means Penn State remains national cha- defending national champions because <laughs> there's no national champion this year. But at the same time, you know, I do feel bad for those kids. There's, uh, I think, in Delaware, and I might be wrong, but they made they got a little bit into the tournament and they just made like co champions. Is that what they did? I think I'm not. Sh- I'm not altogether sure. If you know, comment. Um, but I think like the 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 winter sports. Um, they just have co-champions. Nobody is the actual champion, which I think is a disservice. You don't bust your ass all summer, all year, and then become a co-champion as a default, right? So, I, I, you know, I feel bad for those guys, the kids. You know, March Madness, there's going to be no national championships in basketball this year. Um, hey, let me, let me. Hey, Justin, just just a question, because I know that you've hunted before. Uh, with all this coronavirus stuff going on, have you loaded up on uh, ammo? Uh, has that been like a, a big concern of yours? Or, you know, has it been toilet paper? You know, just curious. Lori, Lori. I had these gloves on too long. We just wanted to do something funny to start off with, so... <laughs> we had the glove set up and you missed the beginning of the uh, the podcast. But yeah, uh, it's the sporting stuff uh, is a bit much. 
Basketball has only got to the semis, so everybody got a trophy. Great. Mm. Everybody's getting participation trophies. Mm. No, that's a disservice yeah. to those kids. Okay. I feel bad for them, but um, I, I understand why they have to do it, obviously, but I do feel bad for them. That, um, and I know in colleges, um, I think they, I think Tamika actually posted this, that they get an extra year of eligibility. Eligibility, yeah. Uh, and that's cool, but but think about it this way, too. What if you had, like, your greatest senior year or something like that, and you come back and you play, or, you know, as a junior, and you come back and play, and you just have a terrible year? That's not on the coronavirus, but still, right. you know, you were heading out with that year where you would have been, you know, the number one pick. Or, well, I would think it on, on the opposite. I think it gives you an extra year of, of um, you know, like – you're playing against kids that the new crop of kids that come in aren't as mature as you know what I'm saying. So if you, you get that's an extra year of experience you have on some people. So I think it works. It could work either way. But um but yeah that, that makes things difficult. But yeah. Yeah, so I'm hoping all you guys out there for who who of you just joined that you do have an ample amount of toilet paper uh, because, you know, as we were saying, people are going crazy and insane with the whole toilet paper thing. Um, once again, if you have a shower next to your toilet, you after this, washing machine. After this podcast, me and Mark, we're going to go burn all this toilet paper out of my fire pit just because. <laughs> It'll be awesome. You know, you, you have ways to take care of that you understand like like we were saying toilet paper is the most convenient but you know there are other yeah use your brain i mean it. come on yeah you know um i will say this too i didn't mention this i went out and bought a brita pitcher um you know for do, those of you who don't have filters that's another option with the water that doesn't just have to be bottled water unless something happens to the water supply you know uh that's an option excuse me <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you know, you it, thank way. you. But yeah, so I, I've always had, again, just like I've always had, I, I, I bought a, it's actually a Brita filter that attaches onto your sink. I've always mm -hmm. had it. Yeah. Um, and you just flip the switch and uh, you get a different stream of, of your drinkable water versus your usable water. Always had that. Mm hmm. So, and I'm not big on drinking water anyway, but um, I did feel stupid because I went out. Not stupid, but, you know. Mm -hmm. That's a good me. point, Justin. But I got six gallons of water. But I do that every week. I've always done that because I drink out of gallon jugs. And I always have. Mm -hmm. So, I'm there. I have my six jugs. And people are like, look at this motherfucker taking all the water. No, I do that every week. You go out and look at my recyclable. There's nothing but jugs of water out there because mm. I drink out of gallon jugs. Yeah. I will start refilling it up with the filter, though, because I'm like, look, I don't need to go get six every week. I have a filter on mine. I'll just refill mine mm. and call it a day because be considerate of other people. That's the... That's the thing about most of this. It shows you how inconsiderate some people are. Like, I know people that went to the store. Um, there's people that their kids got sent home from college, so they had to come home now. So now you need groceries. Just like with me and Selena. Selena doesn't have school, so now I had to make get breakfast and lunch stuff. But you go to the store, and you're not able to get the stuff because people are just inconsiderate of, of everybody. And then they're going to end up with all the shitload of food that they probably won't end up using. Mm -hmm. That'll sit in their freezer. It'll get freezer burned because they're mad freeze and stuff. And it's just too much. Be considerate of other people. How about that? Yeah. Let's try being considerate. Something I want to mention too that Justin Yeah, Justin did it long. Um, and we uh, we talked about this last week. But on the back of the uh, Lysol wipes, it does say kills the coronavirus. So these yes. are something that you might want to invest into and wipe you know wipe things down with or what have you you know once again like like vanilla gorilla said if uh you're in your house you're locked down in your house understand this though the yeah. coronavirus isn't new right right this is a new strain right that came from mm -hmm. either eating snakes or bats in china or whatever in 
Now, is that confirmed or is that just... Uh, it's, I can't say that it's confirmed, but okay. it did originate in China in one of those exotic food markets where somebody posted a video. I couldn't even watch it because they had like dead dogs and cats and stuff. Mm. That's too much for me. I, I love, you know, I love animals, so um, I'm not eating a dog ever unless, you know, there's nothing on the planet left to eat. Like, all right, maybe. Right. But yeah, uh, but yeah, they, they were going through the market in Wutan, Wuhan, Wuhan, or Wuhan, something. yeah, where it supposedly it originates and they show the snakes, bats, dogs, all types of stuff. And once I saw the dogs, I was like, yeah, I'm done. I'm not looking at that anymore. But, um, but yeah, the, like it is what it is, but the coronavirus is definitely not new. I bought these, like, I don't even remember when. And human coronavirus, it's on there right there. Mm. Um, staph, herpes type one, MRSA, I Listeria. Know. You just taught me something. I didn't know it was a different type of herpes. I thought. <laughs> strep, influenza, mm. A, which is H1N1, which we all survived through that too. Right. Um, <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? Um, E. coli. So these, I mean, these are awesome. Uh, but you should always have these, right? Like, yeah. the, because coronavirus is around, shouldn't be the first time you ever purchased some damn Lysol wipes. Like, I, I think I bought these in a three pack. I got one in one bathroom, one in another bathroom, one in the kitchen, mm. and I always have because. Who doesn't wipe down their toilet seat with fucking wipes? Like, I don't, I, that's, who doesn't wipe down the faucets in your bathroom, in your kitchen with wipes? Mm. I, I'm just not understanding. And like I said, I'm not a germaphobic, you know, crazy cleaner. I did live with one for a little bit, but, uh, but yeah, just common sense. Clean your shit. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. And and wipe your phone down. The phone my phone I wipe down probably twice a day now. Mm. I used to wipe it down just once because everybody takes their phone into the bathroom when they take in a dump. Mm. And I wipe my phone down afterwards because just because. So, you know, I wipe my phone down now mm. two times a day maybe. Mm. Just cuz you know, you're always on your phone. So, oh. That's Did you hear about Tom Hanks and his wife? Tom Hanks and his wife in Australia, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. But they were, yeah, they're in Australia. So, mm. um, yeah, even with that crazy rumors, like, oh, the hospital staff gave him a, a volleyball painted like Wilson from the movie. No, they didn't. Um, <laughs> did you hear about Eminem? No. His palms were sweaty. <laughs> 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 no, that was on a meme. <laughs> that was on a meme. I was bagging oh, up. That was great. That was great. Palms were sweaty. Uh, Eat mom's spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that's a meme. Come on, Kennedy, sit down. Sit down. Go lay down. Dogs cannot get coronavirus, by the way. Nah, Kennedy ain't getting coronavirus. Nah, Kennedy needs some damn dental bites, but that's yeah, about so it. That's about it. Yeah. Anybody want to send us dental bites for Kennedy? Please do. She's a good girl. She's a real good girl. But yeah, that's that's the only thing. Uh, my three older kids, they're going to be all off school. Um, only going to have to feed is Carter, though. I'm now meal prepping for Cart. Mm. So hopefully I'll still be able to do that with all this mess. But um, yeah, that's about it for the coronavirus mm -hmm. but you know if you're sick go get tested um they did run um uh down there on the river uh the last for the last two days they did coronavirus mm -hmm. testing i don't I, I drove by there but i was on the bridge so you could look down and obviously at the riverfront yeah. They, yeah because they only if you have so the symptoms anyway. yeah but if you only have so many symptoms right so there is like a chinese billionaire or millionaire who um, 
paid for a, a shitload of tests for the United States. Um, and I'm not going to get into politics, but somebody's administration. Uh, Who could that be? Got rid of the department that handles pandemics. Hmm. 